Okay, in this video, we will solve this differential equation. We know that the general solution of this differential equation is the general solution of the homogeneous equation plus a particular solution. And in order to find the solution of the homogeneous, we need to solve this differential equation. And to solve this differential equation, we change the second derivative by a lambda square. The first derivative by a lambda, but there is no first derivative. And then and the y, the function, by a 1, 4 times 1. And we make it equal to 0. We solve this quadratic, lambda squared equal negative 4. And that means that lambda is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 4, which is plus or minus 2i. When we write this as alpha plus or minus beta i, then we get that alpha is 0 and beta is 2. And therefore, the solution of the homogeneous is C1 e to the alpha t, but in this case, alpha is 0, then it's just 1, cosine of 2t plus C2 sine of beta, which is 2, 2t. This is the solution of the homogeneous. Now, we look for a particular solution. And then we need to look at the non-homogeneous part, and we need to look for something similar. In this case, a sine of 2t plus b cosine of 2t. Remember that any time you invite sine of 2t, you need to invite cosine of 2t. And then we need to see if we need a second guess. Then we need to look at these terms and see if they are multiples of any of the terms of the homogeneous solutions, and they are. And for that reason, we need a second guess, which is just to multiply by t. Okay, let's do what the differential equation tells us to do. We need to compute the second derivative. Then let's start by computing the first derivative. Here we need to do the product rule. The derivative of a t is a sine of 2t plus 2a t cosine of 2t. And here the derivative of b t is just b cosine of 2t minus 2b t sine of 2t. Now the second derivative, we have here 2a cosine of 2t, and then here plus 2a cosine of 2t minus 4at sine of 2t minus 2b sine of 2t minus 2b sine of 2t and now the derivative of sine of 2t is 2 cosine of 2t will be minus 4bt cosine of 2t. Then we replace this information back into the original equation. Then we have the second derivative. Notice that this term and this term can be combined and then the second derivative is 4 a cosine of 2t minus 4 a t sine of 2t. These two terms can be combined minus 4 b sine of 2t minus 4 b t cosine of 2t. This is just the second derivative plus four times the original function, which is a t sine of 2t plus b t cosine of 2t. And we want this to be equal to 16 sine of 2t. Let's see if we can simplify this a little bit more. Notice that this term here and this term here, they cancel out. And this term cancel out with this term. Right? Anytime you are doing a second guess, then you have to include a t that is not part 
of the original functions, but at the end, if everything is all right, that part must cancel. You see, this cancel with this, and this cancel with this, and then we end up with this equation. 4a cosine of 2t minus 4b sine of 2t equal to 16 sine of 2t. We have to, we need to find two unknowns and then we have to set up two equations and then we look at the coefficient of cosine of 2t on the left is 4a and on the right is 0 and the coefficient of sine of 2t on the left is negative 4b and on the right is 16 and that means that a is 0 and b is negative 4. That means that our general solution is equal to, let's write it down, general solution is the solution of the homogeneous, which is C1 cosine of 2t plus C2 sine of 2t plus the particular solution, which is this. We notice that A is 0 and B is negative 4. Then it will be minus 4t cosine of 2t. This is the general solution. Notice that what for us was just to find a second guess in this situation. In physics, this is what is known as resonance. Okay, this is it for this video.